Hello, hi there Aquariuses. Welcome to your December love reading. I'm Bella and welcome to my channel. I'm a psychic, so how I do this is that I intuit the information that I get from spirit. However, I will be pulling some cards to give you some additional messages and clarification on anything that I pick up from spirit. So, dear Aquariuses, Firstly, what I want to say to you is you have been one of the four fixed signs that have um, had some interesting energy since we had the last full moon eclipse and actually up until the 4th of December when we had the solar eclipse. Your energies have been particularly being targeted, I think is the word I want to use, in order for great changes to happen mentally, emotionally, tangibly, that type of thing. So if you've been feeling it in the last couple of weeks, that has been why. And if you're watching this a bit later, that will explain why that period, end of November, beginning of December, was a little bit emotionally difficult for you, particularly when it came to matters of the heart. It's supposed to be triggering for you. And then when we have the retrograde, that's the Venus retrograde on the 19th, it, you've got the catalyst then for the next six months, but particularly for the first two months when the retrograde is in, in, its, in action, for you to make significant changes that then improve your love life. And the theme that I'm getting for you is, this is either you, but I think it's mostly what's happening to you, is somebody needs to let go of the rules or somebody needs to step away from the rules. So if you're, if you're, again, I, I want to say that, but I feel like it's mostly happening to you, but switch it around where it applies. Basically, if you're around somebody who the, the way that they want love or is demonstrating love or the way that it can, love continues is that it's rule-based it, on their terms and it's not equal, then there is an element of you needing to step away. It's not worth it. It needs to be poured away. It needs to be, it needs to be gone um, or it needs to be removed from your life. Also, again, if maybe in your head, it could also be that you are saying to yourself, um, well, in order for this to work, they need to do this, this and this, which are rules and maybe really healthy rules and really healthy boundaries, but they can't live up to it. So it's almost like you have to let those rules go because with that person, because they can't manifest with that person. So it's, it's not entirely letting it go. It's like letting it go with them because it's not aligning, basically. There is something really... There is something about either you making choices to remain in love where it's not healthy for you and you're sticking in hoping that they will apply, you know, they'll, they'll do what you need them to do or that that person keeps making unhealthy choices but then having all these rules and it can't manifest somewhere. Like I have to make it this general because my guides, I think the third sign that I've done where they sort of said it could also be you too, whereas the other signs it was mostly happening to them so just like i said switch it around where it applies the same when that happens yes it is a cut off it is like ending something there is a um an ending um but what comes with it within the next six months is the love that you need but it does start at home by letting go of that energy and refocusing it back on yourself amplifies what you're trying to manifest either with a person that we're talking about or with someone new and that would also apply even if you're single single you might have these really rigid rules that is preventing the connection so it's about re-examining that or letting it go and only applying them when it becomes applicable that self-love will be mirrored back to you when you love yourself you get what you love about yourself when somebody sees you does that make sense about teaching you to suck eggs um that again they keep mentioning about six months particularly now they're showing me the period of taurus so there's something about when that time comes there is a big shift and change that comes in your love life that again stems from what's happening now and i'm not saying that anybody who's attached to somebody right now that it can't be better or can't improve or can't get back together by that time but there is significance in your specific journey as to when we get to that period of time, the closure of that six months that then brings this, what you'd be manifesting, exactly what you want, long-term commitment, deep love, whatever it is personally to you, that's when it happens. So 
is unfair. So the fixed signs that have been affected by this, which is yourself and Scorpio and Taurus and Leo, if I remember correctly, it they have, th th there is a longer journey that's happening, but it's for your highest good because it's also about the universe manifesting what you deserve. If you can recognize that in yourself, I hope I'm making sense. Um, I also get here, there is an element where because of the personal circumstances in what has happened with you romantically with somebody right now, where there has this has been these unfair rules, unfair choices, unfair whatever it is, that it will make you guarded, not sad. It makes you guarded, protective, and that's your challenge to a certain degree. Your challenge is to work through that because also that's low vibrational. It's understandable, but it's low vibrational. It, it stops you from again attaining what you're manifesting not being able to be matched, not seeing the right kind of partner for you or not or not allowing the changes to happen with somebody else to allow that to come through for you in a super positive way. I mean, overall, it feels like really energy that kind of feels like it might suck, but actually you almost need to see the bigger picture if you can. Easier said than done, I know. But the, the it's, it's actually really fortunate for you guys because we have started new soulmate cycles you are going to end up, wherever you go, they're kicking or screaming or otherwise, into a long-term connection. So actually all of this is worth it to bring you back or bring you into a union that is long-term. So see it that way, because it might help you to ride the wave better, accept things better. So on that note, I'm just gonna pull some cards to see if there's any additional messages. The cards now I want to tell you. I like there's no jumping card so for me that's like it's not sticking again rule pet rule maker you have to figure out you or them are you the rule maker or they the rule, or they the rule maker but majority you'll have somebody that's trying to be controlling stubborn um wanting things their way and even when you pull yourself away from them they still remain this way for a certain amount of time and if you st still stick around for a, a while, let's just say those rules are only gonna get harder because it's like the universe is trying to push you in a direction where you're kind of forced to move in that direction. But this is a this is about control. And sometimes, is, if, whether somebody else is controlling themselves and, the, and stopping the relationship from moving forward, what Spirit is saying here is that also you are controlling this too, even if it's trying to control the outcome, trying to control um, for them to love you. Like, there's a lot of release in that control because it's not serving the connection in a healthy way right now. It's a major arcana as well. So that's indicating that's a big change, that shift that needs to happen. Again, focusing on self-love, Queen of Pentacles. These cards are slightly different than normal tarot, tarot cards, by the way, just, just in case you're recognising the pictures to be slightly different, they are for a reason. So you've got here this queen looking at themselves, prioritizing themselves so that things can flow better, so that you can, you know, when you focus on you, you know, it's almost like a, an, an element of saying it's okay to be single, you know, because only things are coming, but you see there's a bunny rabbit down there. When you do that, things will flow to you faster. Things will flow to you faster, not just with love, but with other areas of your life too. So it isn't about letting go of control in order to refocus on yourself, to release, to control what you can in your own world, not the outside world when it comes to romantic, because then things will flow in faster for you. You are only heading towards a union of sorts. This is another queen. This, you know, you've got two queens that come out back to back. This is definitely, again, this is not gender based, but this is about you again, standing on your own. For me, this is, it's telling two stories about you needing to find your own stability, but also it just opens up like a, a creative intelligence and emotional intelligence that comes uh, and a foresight that comes when you meet new partnerships or if you have an ex that tries to bewilder you or control you, you will be firm and stable. You will be measured. You won't be fooled. You'll be calm. You'll be, you'll want peace. And if them or you are still in this energy, it just won't align up. You'll be forcing this control out of this person because you'll be like, queens don't mess with that. We don't deal with that kind of energy. Got the three, three of ones here. 
Like I can interpret this card in many different ways, but what Spirit is just saying here, because you've got this bird taking flight, and usually I take that as communication, but for me, they're saying, no, that's you needing to take flight in another direction, needing to pull yourself away from the shore, pull yourself away from this current situation and person. It's almost like this is your person or a person or, the, your, or your idea of love, and you need to remove yourself and fly away from it because it is not serving you. It's not serving you. There is an element where you need to be free in your thinking, free and single, free so that you can explore, get spiritual growth, vibrationally high, you know, you're high in the air in order for newness to come to you. Because then when you do, you get the King of Cups. You get somebody who is, this again, this card is slightly different than most King, King of Cups. See how the water is pouring out? This is the King of Cups that will spill out their emotions, that will express their emotions, that will not hold back. The communication would be good. There's no control here. This is about just being honest and tangible and words of affirmations and wants to be in a connection instead of the King of Cups that usually you know, holds it in. That's what you're heading towards in terms of who you'll be aligned to, whether it's an old person, current person or a new person. That's your direction that you're going in. And I know this is a December love reading, but this feels very quite like a journey and a long-term thing that actually it's this, it starts from this energy because of the, what's been happening astrologically for you in order to, to make that manifestation happen in a much more tangible way. You've got the tower here. A lot of you don't want to do this. But remember... What gets broken can only be rebuilt. You need to be rebuilding new foundations. It needs to be broken. So if you're looking for a message, thinking, am I doing the right thing? Should I move in a way? Should I break up? Yes. <laughs> I hate to give advice like that, but pretty much, yes, you've got to break it to mend it. And I said that to another star sign. For yourself, mend it for yourself. You are on the catalyst. That's three now major arcanas. Catalyst of massive change in your life. But also massive rebirth don't be afraid when you release that control you might be afraid for a little while but i just feel like it's going to be quite liberating just lastly because this is where you're heading towards two, two of cups two of cups divine intervention divinely guided to your person your match your person you'll be committed to the person you'll be married but what i like about this card you know because usually they're not cuddling but there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of intimacy, but also there's a cat. You still retain your independence. For me, that's like the most healthiest relationship. You're together, but also you're separate. You know, there's no codependency. You have a healthy measure of independence in that connection, which makes it work beautifully. There are no rules or expectations, just love. So it's worth it. It's worth it. So I do hope that that's been helpful for you, Aquariuses. Thank you very much for watching this. If you do like, do subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you'd like to know more about me and my services, the links are just down below. And you take care now.